Hello, I'm Susan Tabergian, an American writer and teacher living in Geneva, Switzerland. I welcome this opportunity to invite you to my course, Soulfulness, Listening to Soul. In this eighth decade of my life, I have a growing appreciation of soulfulness, those moments and spaces of soul. I even appreciate the sound of the word, soulfulness. It's soft, round, whole. It speaks of those moments when I feel full of soul. I open my arms and welcome her. I speak to her. She listens. I feel part of something eternal. It's this experience of soulfulness that I wish to share with you. Today, our world, our society is brazen, strident, glaring. Our iPhones dictate the, the day, the time. There's always more to do, more to acquire, more to consume. The glaciers can wait, the forests can burn, the immigrants can drown. The drive to material progress has set in place roadblocks. There is only one track, forward and onward. But we hunger for moments of rest, for quiet, for Mozart, for candlelight, rose petals, greenery, friendship, smiles on children's faces. We long for soulfulness. We've lost our way. We've lost our souls. Over a hundred years ago, C.G. Jung lost his soul. Visions of floods overwhelmed him. He let himself drop into the dark. He would confront the unconscious. He would find his soul. So begins the Red Book. Can we today find anew our souls? Can we imagine spaces of soulfulness? My course will have four parts. The first, what is soulfulness and soul? Secondly, where can we listen to soul? Thirdly, how? Do we listen to soul? And lastly, sharing soulfulness. Today, our souls are calling out. The world soul is calling out. I hope you will join me as we listen together, as we create spaces of soulfulness. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.